Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you step-by-step -step process how we can easily use the JOT form. Now, you can sign with the Gmail, Facebook or normal mail. I'm going to sign with the Facebook. After finishing this video, you will know exactly how to use it. I believe in it. So, you don't have any forms yet and straight away it gets you here. So what we will do, we will create a form and then I will show you templates, integrations and everything. So you click here, create a form. Now you have options to choose a template, import or start from scratch. I'm going to use a template and you can do it too if you want to. Now in Jot form, when you're going to click on a template, you're going to have multiple options here. On the left side, you can go based on types or you can simply choose industries. If it's going to be business forms, e-commerce forms, health camp forms, human resources or IT, or you're going to have like contact, contact forms, etc. I'm going to click on the types here and I will choose contact forms. Now here you're going to see plenty of forms that you can choose and simply choose which one you want. Like I'm going to choose this one here. You can also preview it if you're going to click on a preview. Now, when I go back, I'm going to simply click here, use template. And now we just wait until it loads. And voila, here we are. So when you're going to click on a use template or you would start from the scratch, what you can do on the left side, you can simply add form element. And now you're going to have the basics form elements which is header, like full name and others. Oh, let me delete this. And how it works is that you're going to find plenty of basic elements. So let's say that I want to add um, signature. So what I will do, I will click on it and it will automatically add to your form. What you can do is to simply move it between uh, your sections here. So I would have it like here. Then I have like drop down menu here, single choice, multiple choice. I can simply click on a single choice. And then people would like choose it and we will edit it soon. And then we have also submit or star rating, scale rating. I would do also star rating and voila, here we got it. Next to the basic, you're going to see payments. So let's click payments. And now you can simply add a payments to your JOT form. So you can add Square, PayPal, Braintree and others. The last one are widgets. And you can simply add a widget to your form. E-signature, checklist, YouTube, video, data grid, PDF, unique ID, SMS confirmation, plenty of widgets that you can actually add. So I can add simply YouTube here and I can add it to video. Now let's edit our form that we have here. So I can click here first name and I can add type sub label. I can go on the right side and click properties. And as you can see, you can edit everything here, name, label alignment, if it's going to be left, right, top, I'm going to have label alignment top. Select form as default, OK. And if it's required, you will have the star, the red star right here. So you can make it required. Then you can see sub labels, first name, last name. Again, you can edit those if you want to, or you can duplicate the field here. Completely up to you. Now, the next thing, uh, what you can do, is to click on options and you can allow users to use middle name, prefix, suffix, and advanced placeholder, first name, and last name, and hover text. You can have it and you can have it as a read only that people won't be able to add anything to it. You can shrink it or you can hide field, completely up to you. And then on the right bottom, you're gonna see field details. 
So this is what you can do also with your email again. And then you can edit everything. Like I have a form here, the time question, and I can make it right, left, top. And I can edit those options. Right. Option number two. So this is how we can do it and edit it. And then you're going to have the time question here. And I would edit this is a question. Is this a question? And you can, I'm going to edit the signature, delete it. Now, when I have it, what I can do next is to simply add my logo on the top. And I can upload. Let's say I would add Baby Yoda here. And I can align it to center. So what you can do also is to edit the scent. And play around it, change the button, button style, button image. And you can add a new page like multiple uh, forms. Now, when it, next to the build, you're going to have settings. So we have the build for our form, then we have settings here. Now you can enter a title for it. You can enable, you can disable the form on a date, let's say one month from now, disable on submission limit, disable on a date and submission limit. Then you can send emails. This is like automation. So if they're going to submit, you can send them email if you want to. You can create conditions. So you can simply add an email, notification email, or autoresponder conditions. So enable require field, skip hide page. Thank you page, how it looks like. You can edit that too, if you want. Again, you can edit it. Then you have integrations here that you can connect JotForm with other applications. And you're going to see approval flow and mobile notification. So and then like people can on approval flows. If you're going to have employees, they can approve or not the forms. Then you can simply preview the form here. And this is on the right top. And this is how it looks like, right? First name, last name, email. Is this a question? Option one, option two, phone number and rating, right? And send. And you can see how it looks like on tablet and how it looks like on phone. So this is how you can do it. And then uh, let's say that I would publish it. Open in a new tab. And I'm going to add everything here. Send. Thank you. Your submission has been received. Now, what I could do is to I'll click on the view form. I can go to PDF editor. You can do it. Or you can simply click jot form. And then we see it here when I'm going to click on job form. So I can click on one submission and I can see it right here. And now when you're going to click on a, uh, your submissions, you're going to see the submission here. And you can simply move it and edit it. You can add multiple tabs here. So in the tables, you would see uh, your submission from people. And the more you're going to have, the more things you would see here. And you can add multiple views here or switch between tables and you can have like form analytics in which you would find everything here 
So when you're going to click on the form analytics, you would see analytics. And then you get like PDF editor here. View form and inbox. Let's see. So new PDF document. And you can have PDF document here for people to fill out. It works completely the same as with a normal form. And that's pretty much it. And then you get like job form here. And these are the submissions, the inbox. So this is not going to be like on table, but this is going to be like normal one. So this is pretty much it, how it works and how it is now. Uh, this is how you can use job form. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. You go on the top right, you see uh, the elements here, the templates, sorry. I will show you straight away. Then you're going to have the features here. And you see that there are plenty of templates that you can actually use. So even the table templates, but there will be completely new tutorial. If you want me to make it, I would make it. But this is pretty much it, how we do it. So thank you very much guys for watching. Again, if you can have any questions, ask me down in the comments. This was a quick tutorial for JotForm. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.